All right, welcome back, guys. We had a very funky game number two that led into a very abrupt end, so we find ourselves very quickly in game number three. We are, of course, in the semifinals still in this best of five, spawning the top right-ish corner of Catalina. It's going to be Yoda Prime. In the middle left, as the Red Terran, he's Joshi. So I really like that Joshi went for that. You know, when we were talking about the 11 gas coming down, I expected that really to be just for like the advancement in his tech with maybe a bit of aggression, sometimes that cool 1-1-1 build. Um, but I definitely didn't expect what happened in that game. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas... I don't remember if it was... Oh, sorry, right. your point first. <laughs> I think in the last series you cast, Joshi versus um, Polt. Well, it was Paul that went for an early gas, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyways, like, it does, you know, do a lot of aggression. And <laughs> what happened with that was that Paul just got simply denied. Like, he didn't do anything. It was on Fox, right, I remember. And that's not exactly what I expected here. But I didn't expect, you know, obviously I didn't expect to end the game, right? Like, middle of the road. It wouldn't kill Yoda, but it wouldn't just, like, get denied either. He would simply have the CC lift off and he would have a soft contain. And then, and then it, that didn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, I well the thing I was gonna say is like we've cast so much TVT like Korean TVT especially lately I have not seen the game end in that manner uh, This is actually the first time I've seen it snowball and wreck so hard And I think one of the things you had brought up during that game was like Yoda did kind of call a lot of bluffs and played Maybe not super greedy, but to a point where it's like oh you definitely didn't have anything to fight with so <laughs> good game Yeah I mean, consider all the things that he could have done. Um, you know, he could have started the wall at the main ramp. You know, you put the second supply depot there, and then if things bunker get hairy, in the worst case scenario. I mean, that right? You can slap down a bunker and another supply depot. Um, he could have not teched up as hard. You know, he had a reactor going on in the barracks, so instead of three marines, maybe we would have five or six. I don't know if that would have, would have really helped, but it, it would have been something. But it was just like, you know, he went back with the command center. He kind of wanted to trick Josh into thinking like, okay, yeah, you scared me enough. And then he had three marines on the side because he was expecting the Reaper to jump up on the little ledge a dead wing has. It was just a lot of like, oh, you're not going to do anything. Let me just prepare for a normal game. And for someone who went for like the greediest build possible, that's just like so, so brazen. It's like, well, you know, I don't know about any of you guys. When I see someone like 14 CC in like a match you're not supposed to, I just get really angry. I'm like, you son of a... <laughs> How did like, you react do for a pool? Like, God. <laughs> Can't believe you got away with this. Yeah, I, like, I, you know what's funny though? It, it is like those sort of tactics where you could take it to the lower leagues, and it it gets punished more because when you get to this level of tournament play, there's a certain amount of mind gaming that comes into it. A lot of assumptions get made, like do I risk this for that? Is X versus Y worth it? And do I even bother checking for the CC because my build's gonna all in anyways? So it's yeah, it is a bit frustrating watching some of these builds because you're like, man, I could never get away with that at like even the lowest of leagues. <laughs> Very identical builds going down here. Uh, usually it's Merry-Go-Round that causes weird games, but Catalina kind of has the same thing going for it, and it is a three-player three, three player map, so in DBZ, the overlords can guess wrong. In TVT, it is just kind of like a like a jump across the pond to get to your opponent's main base. Actually, uh, just so before I, we go off pond. that last topic, oh. taking it like one step further, I just realized like, with the dream pool being what it was, you probably couldn't play Greedy anyways most of the time. Well, the dream pool has been an absolute nightmare for most. And I, in the Alima League, it's the only tournament. I still don't know any other tournament that took the dream pool into consideration. And I re I'm remembering specifically like the four oh, minute no. TVT finals we've had. No, oh, no, SSL did for qualifiers. Oh, right, right. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, well, I think that's even worse. Our Alima League is like once a week. SSL for the like once. Yeah. Yeah, the, for like, those qualifiers, that's more like uh. <laughs> Well, okay, Yoda gonna go for a bit of a drop here. The Widow Mine is gonna be a bit scary, but it's hardly devastating like it is in other matchups. The nice thing is though, whether it goes off on the SCVs, whether it goes off on the Hellions, it's gonna kill stuff. It's silly to say it like that because it's so generalizing, but I mean, everything it hits is gonna get weak, but oh, the it's... scan goes down out of uh, Jokshi. He's not gonna let this go down at all. Yeah, that's probably worth it. The same exact thing happens on Yoda's base though. He scans the Widow Mine and cleans everything up. A little worse for wear. It looks like he's going to lose a lot more SCVs than Jachi yeah. did. Yeah, seven do go down there. I think a lot of that comes down to the Marine control. When it came down to the base defense at home, I, I was sitting there for a second thinking, like, why was Jachi not microing those Hellions? Just kind of aim moving them in. But this because, of course, he was putting a lot more attention over here on the uh, offense while so was Yoda. The difference was, though, I think uh, Jachi with that quick surround on the SCVs cleaned that up much more efficiently. Yeah. I mean, they lynched that Marine, like, <laughs> just straight up. 
Uh, seven worker lead for Jachi. Uh, your CC is also just a little bit faster. Yoda is following up with the Banshee, however, and I don't know if Jachi's gonna expect this. He should get a Viking just because, I don't know, you always get a Viking in TBT. <laughs> it's just, it's just what you do. Oh, he actually has Vikings, so. Oh, he's gonna this die for is... that last one. Okay, well he gets it. Um, as long as he keeps one Viking, he's gonna keep both okay. Vikings alive. That's really great then. So I don't know if he scouted that it was Banshees. No, not necessarily. He didn't see the tech level of Starport. No, but uh, two gases is kind of telling. I feel. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, seeing nothing else in the base, yeah. Uh, so he should have Vikings in position, and that's that's really great. I mean, Yoda's one hope was that he's gonna catch Jachi super off guard with Banshees. And, well, it's still possible. You know, maybe Josh doesn't save up scans. It's unlikely. Well, I like this. He repaired the Hellions earlier. He's repairing the Vikings now, trying to maintain that army. Looks like Yoda's just going to go for one good push before he expands, if he expands. I think the if he expands is a better point to make. Yeah, you lose a lot of SCVs like that in the early game. Like, he knows his damage was so minimal, it killed, like, one SCV. I mean, that's that's hard to really plan an expansion around, I feel, knowing that you're going to be that behind. But uh, Banshee does come. It's going to pick off another SCV. Two go down. The Vikings are hot on seals, and uh, he's going to have to scan for it. Okay. Jachi, you know, as I noted, he did save scans, right? So he has another one of the natural. It's no big deal. No one is getting more Banshees, though, and he'll want them for the push that he's doing. They're very helpful they provide what little vision you can get if they don't have scans and you know maybe just maybe they'll get a free tank that banshee finally does go down and here comes yoda's push not sure jachi saw it he has not moved down his uh units and he yeah. certainly would want to if these tanks are pre-positioned i think he takes a pretty darn good fight but they're not they're in the main and they're really far away from defending the natural so yoda while he takes his own expansion will be able to put jachi uh in a bit of a hot spot jachi's gonna have to lift this off yeah Luckily, without Stim, I mean, Marines shouldn't be able to kill it. Wants to buy as much time as possible, it looks like. I mean, Josh really doesn't have that many strong... Like, okay, well, he has three tanks now, and that that's pretty strong. But, as you said, they're all in the main, so they're pretty out of position to protect much of anything. You'll have to give up the barracks, well, you'll have to give up the reactor, anyways. Yeah, the reactor, for sure. He's actually trying to get these last two Marines on. I, that's going to cost him his barracks. Probably save that barracks. Ooh. I don't think... Yeah, if he had just given up the Marines, would have saved it, for sure. But that's something hard to call. I um, mean, while we do have a drop, try to go off on the other side of the map. He did kill a lot of SCVs for this, by the way, down to nine workers. Uh, but for the sake of the way this pressure is going, that might not matter if Joshi can't break this. But, oh, no, High Ground Vision is going to let these tanks jump in a very preferable spot. This is going to cost Yoda his tanks, and that's going to be all the pressure removed from this push. And Joshi, oh, he loses oh, the command lost. center. Oh, wow. This was not supposed to go this I, bad. I, I don't know, Zavigo. It's, it's 12, 30 SCVs to 10, though. I mean... Losing that CC sucks, but Joshi kept the tanks alive for his counter push. Yoda's got no money to make tanks right. with. I mean, I think Joshi's perfectly fine. I think he should have been finer. <laughs> <laughs> More refined, is that what you're saying? He wasn't quite sparkling enough? Sure, sure. You know, Yoda, though, good prediction here. Right? Yeah, he moved his tank up here. He's going to have this uh, Banshee there as well, and Joshi's Vikings aren't quite caught up. If only he knew... You can start chipping away, just like three shots. Yeah. Oh, those banshees. Three banshees. Okay, it's, like, it's still gonna work, right? Like, yeah, definitely worth losing even one banshee, which he won't. Oh one banshee doesn't take down a banshee at a scan. But even <laughs> with three banshees, I mean... Almost barely, just barely. Yoda doesn't have an orbital, right? Like, if this was an orbital, maybe his income looks a little bit better, but... I mean, still, Josh, he's only just now making his command center. Weirdly enough, he'll probably have an orbital around the same time as Yoda. He also has much better production. He lost that yeah. one barracks, slaps down three in total, I suppose just two more. Actually, I wonder if that, uh, <laughs> with the barracks being killed, you know, he can't put down more factories if he had planned to go towards mech. That option just got stripped away from him. So I don't, I wonder if this bio is like a consequential bio, right? Like, well, I guess I'll Maybe. go for plus one weapon upgrades. I got nothing else I could do. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I like Jachi's, like, insistence about the missile turrets protecting his production. There were three banshees and none of them died. That's a lot of firepower to let the, uh, to let go. I mean, with only, what is he, have four marines and a medevac? Three banshees could probably take that down. Now they'll have the vikings on their heels, so. If, if he fights near a turret, yeah, it's gonna be very different. Um, the turret's gonna add a lot of damage, it'll be the detection he needs. There's a couple of blind spots, though, as we see, where you get a whole positions to try and get a counter harass off. 
But again, his goal is to kill like 10 plus CVs in this scenario. Yeah, where's the third banshee? Maybe. Oh, the one, the. Uh, the it was one home. One. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I don't think and that's the a bad idea died. at all. Because, I mean, the fear is that, you know, Jack, as you put up, did have production. He's got that money. Yoda's probably fairly reasonably scared of like a big counter doom drop type scenario. But uh, yeah, that banshee staying at home. Not a bad choice. Not getting anything done, yeah. though, of course. The second Banshee dying of the natural is to bring it across the map. Uh, it'd be really great if you could go ahead and kill maybe one or two tanks. Anything, really. <laughs> Anything at all, but... Two Vikings should kill this Banshee, yep. No problem. And it looks like the other Banshee did die as well. The Viking chased it down, ran out of energy. That was kind of Yoda's only hope were Banshees. Banshee harass, Banshees killing tanks with Jachi ever moved out again. And now he doesn't have much. Yeah. Uh, well, <coughs> Stim is going to finish up similar timings for both these guys. I think one of the big things, though, is Jaxi's plus one is going to let his Marines win these fights pretty much every time. Uh, there, I, I really don't know another unit in the game. Even Zerglings, to an extent, don't compare when it comes to just the difference of plus one can make. Mm. Yoda should uh, hopefully be prepared for this drop. He has Vikings in position. He still has that siege tank. He actually has not moved his initial force from this base. It looks like he's just been rallying everything down to the natural. And this is gonna be this could be very helpful for Vikings now. If they target on the medivacs, they'll be helpful. If they start, if they're busy shooting the Vikings, that actually be preferable for Jachi. I like that scan. Gonna play it safe. He does have a very scary force here. Three siege tanks and a lot of Marines. But last thing you want to do is have one of those medivacs picked off by those Vikings. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the worst thing. Like even if all the medivacs got down, like you still lose with three medivacs. That's a lot of power taken away. So it doesn't decide to go for it. But it's always an option. You know, he's in such a good position. And he knows that like Yoda's probably not gonna push out anytime soon. He can have three medivacs full of units just like chilling. <laughs> Normal TVT. No, not so much. You're gonna need them protecting every base that you have. Yeah. Uh, well, again, to address the schedule for today, folks, this is a semifinals match that didn't get to play out yesterday like we had wanted it to. Uh, so we're gonna be going all the way through tonight. This is full bore all the way to the end of the grand finals for this tournament. So. Uh, well, we might get some longer games like this because of awkward openers. We're going to have a lot more games following this up. Uh, of course, we'll be playing the finals, the best of seven, immediately after this best of five concludes. And the winner of this goes on to fight against Solar. But uh, Jokshi, you know, he for that lead he had, Yoda's been given a lot of breathing room. He's finally catching up. His production's starting to get to where it needs to be. But this drop is still going to be so dangerous. This is I'd go for it now. That is a lot of stuff. They drop most, oh, somewhat on top of the tanks. This is actually kind of messy, but the Marines drop down and suddenly everything just disappears. Plus one's going to win the oh. Marine fight. We'll see if those tanks Come make a big enough difference. He actually loses oh, most wow. of the Marines. Jokshi just can't quite kill Yoda, but he drops one Marine on top of the tank. <laughs> Kills that one tank. Another Marine on top of the tank. Dead zone, everybody. Dead zone. Good game's going to be called. Jokshi will take the series lead 2-1 over his opponent.